Okay, so here we are at the original. Yes, for those of you who didn't know in the other video, this is an original. And uh, it was missing all kinds of pins for all the you know, deck hangers here, or whatever you call them. And uh, so I just stuck bolts in there for now. The deck was all lopsided and such. Tires don't look too bad. I'll just leave them on there. They're all holding there, except for I never put air in that one. It is there. I gotta top the oil off in the engine. The carburetor's stuck. The linkage won't move or anything. The air filter looks okay. I, I was told it's supposed to be a oil bath. So we'll throw one of them on there. Throttle linkage is stuck. Choke linkage is stuck. The cables are all stuck. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if this thing sat where it was for a good 10 years or more. Who knows? It's been sitting there forever. Um, there was a 122 sitting next to it that he tried to sell me, but I had no interest in it. I like this one. Uh, the 122 would have come with a rototiller, snow blower, sickle bar mower, and a mower deck. And it was his lawnmower for many years until the engine got tired. This one, he didn't own. He rebuilt the engine. Guy got a new tractor and sold him this one back. Just a few years later, I guess. And there it sat. So, it's not in bad shape. Pretty good ding on the hood right there, but I can straighten that out. It's not too bad. Not too, too bad. <clears throat> it's a little low on oil, but it is clean. I'm not sure what that means yet, if it leaked it out somehow or what. We'll see. But otherwise, it's very complete. I ordered a key for it, although the key switch is disconnected, and I'm not sure how to wire it, but we'll figure that out. I have since learned in the other video, this is not the serial number, it is hidden right there, and it is 56, two, 56, 261, 251, something like that, can't really see it, but yep, and uh, one important feature about this and this WD-40 bottle here had to help me out is this. That engine don't sound half bad when it's cranking over like that. I can see a drive shaft turning under here so I would imagine the clutch is stuck because I think the pedal's down. All kinds of slop in the shifter, but it does go in the gears. Knob is missing. Um, yeah, it doesn't seem like it's in too bad a shape. It just needs paint and some light wiring, and that'd be about it, I guess. The motor deck belt is there. I just dropped it down. We disconnected it, thinking that was what was seized. Though it wasn't. Steering doesn't feel bad. Tires don't look bad. I don't even know what's under here. Oh god, they're seized tight. They won't even move. So, that's where I'm at on this project for right now. Yep. So, I'll probably end up just taking the motor deck off it for now. Not quite sure how it comes off, if it just drive over it or what. I don't know. This don't move. Sounds like we got some bearing slop in the front. Yeah, it's gonna need a little bit of TLC. It's been sitting outside a long time. Seat needs some love. I have a I have a John Deere seat I'll throw in it for now. Until I find the the right one. 
Or else I'll just go to Tractor Supply and pick one up for it. I don't know. We'll see. But the wiring doesn't look too bad. Not all hacked up looking. Just one wire hacked up to the coil. So there it is. The grill needs to be straightened out, but it's not bad. Just a little bit bent down here. Not too bad.